Hi guys, and in this lesson, we're going to be looking at the properties of a perfect square. Okay, when a quadratic expression is a perfect square. So let me start off with our quadratic, okay, because when we're completing the square, this refers to a quadratic expression. So we have agreed that the general form of a quadratic, it's when it's written in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay, now this is the general form of a quadratic expression and sometimes in the exam we may be asked or maybe given the situation that you're in, you may be asked to complete the square. Okay, so before we go into completing the square, let's look at the properties, certain properties of when a quadratic is a perfect square. Now, if a quadratic is a perfect square, then the general thing to do is to say I'm going to take half to prove and this is this is a, a, a neat little trick now I'm showing you okay so let me make a note here this is a neat little trick to know when a quadratic is a perfect square to know that it's a perfect square I would have to take a half okay let me change my color I would have to take a half of B okay this B here take a half of B and what I'm gonna do I'm going to square it and that must be equal to the product A here A times C okay so this value and this value must work out to be the same thing if the quadratic is a perfect square now in the last exercise um, let's look at a quadratic expression that we had looked at in the last exercise to prove this okay we had looked at the form the perfect square which is x plus 2 multiplying x plus 2 okay and we had decided that when this is simplified and by now we should know how to simplify this because we have been looking at it if you're still not sure you could always check back our playlist on expanding binomials okay good but to simplify this we're saying x times x which will give us x squared x times 2x which will give us a positive 2x okay and then 2 times x we have another positive 2x and 2 twos 4 okay so this will completely factorize this implies that I would have a x square and I'm grouping my like terms here so I 2 plus 2x plus 2x will give us a 4x okay and I have a positive 4 there okay and that would be my answer now I'm interested in taking this quadratic here now this quadratic that we have expand and simplify this product here okay and we're going to look at some characteristics that we have stated earlier this little trick here half of b all squared must be equal to the product ac now let's just split the screen a bit and let's check that okay now if I want if your teacher asks you put up a quadratic expression on the board and they ask you to figure it out or to tell them whether or not this is a perfect square this this you would have to use to determine quickly okay so I would say I'm taking a half of B and then I'm going to square that okay and that must be equal to a times C now what is a half of B I'm really taking a half of b in this case would be 4 okay this 4 here this 4 here okay that's b if you make a comparison with the expression that we have up here so I would have a b there so I would have a half of 4 and then I'm going to square that okay and that must be equal to and what's a what is a is the coefficient of x square which is 1 times c is the constant out here that we have which is 4 okay so this would be c this 4 here this positive 4 so times 4 cool now what I'm saying here is that a half of 4 I'm working out what's inside the bracket first so a half of 4 is 2 all squared and that must be equal to 1 times 4 is 4 okay now 4 square is the same as 2 sorry 2 square is the same as 2 times 2 so I'm saying 2 twos is equal to 4 and 4 is also equal to 4 so this implies that hey 
this is my answer and my answer because I have 4 is equal to 4 same value on both sides of the equation this simply means then this is a perfect square okay let's try another one let's try another one quickly all right now let's change this up a bit let me say 2 let's use 2 x squared okay minus 8 x plus 8 all right and again your teacher tutor or math coach may ask you to identify this quadratic expression and to tell them whether or not it's a perfect square so again to identify it you would have to say let me take a half of b and I'm going to square it okay and that must be equal to the product AC now again let's go through it quickly I'm going to say I'm taking a half of of what is B now B B would be negative 8 okay so I'm taking a half of negative 8 and I'm going to square all of that and that must be equal to 2 is the coefficient of x square which is a so 2 times and in this case 8 this 8 out here is a constant okay so I'm saying a half of negative 8 is really negative 4 and I'm going to square it okay and that must be equal to 2 times 8 which is 16 let me square that should have the square there sorry about that now I'm going to say negative 4 times negative 4 will give me a positive 16 and 16 is equal to 16 so again my friends we have another perfect square what 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 is different from the first one is that in this case B was negative okay we had a negative B rather right in this case so again that's a perfect square okay now we have work with quadratic expressions and I've proven that they are perfect square when B is positive and B is also negative so it doesn't matter the value that B carries okay whether B is negative or positive once a half of B all square works out to the same thing as AC then we have a perfect square now we need to show you that that's not the case in all situations because only B can carry a negative value now what we're going to be looking at now in the next property is that note and let me make it clear here note for a quadratic to be a perfect square note for a quadratic to be a perfect square a and C must must always always mm -hmm, be positive okay so if a and C if a or C is negative then the quadratic is not a perfect square okay and we can prove that quickly so let's just look at another quadratic very quickly and we can prove that that if a or c carries a negative value then the quadratic is not a perfect square take for example negative 5 x squared plus 10 x plus 5 okay so again to prove that it's a perfect square I would be taking a half a half of b which is now 10 so I'm taking a half of 10 and I'm going to square that okay and that must be equal to a times c a here is negative 5 and c here is positive 5 okay half of 10 is 5 and I'm going to square that and that must be equal to negative 5 times a positive 5 will give me a negative 25 okay and 5 5 is also 25 so 25 is, e is not equal to negative 25 so in this case we have proven that if a or c is negative it is not a perfect square okay all right and that's it and it's fun and as we go along you will see 
and you will get a lot more used to the whole concept of working with perfect squares and later on we'll see how it applies to the quadratic function okay bye for now good